go. And the mic has been found again. Finally, the mic has been found again. Yeah, sorry for the other day, but I was away. I, I, I was away the other day and uh, there's no microphone. I didn't have the microphone with me, so yeah. Yeah, I, I was gesticulating. Right, like this. Okay, let's see. I want to have tonight, I've updated for you guys. So we passed 700k. We passed the 700k here, and I wanna have. I really wanna have a relaxing, relaxing stream tonight. So let's check. What do we have to do here? I think we just have to recall to Scara, and let's check the amount of wrecks that we have. The usual thing. Let's refresh the kit, for instance. Okay, and uh, let's let's go to Scar and begin our adventure. Let's see if we can actually get like 70, 70 20k done tonight. Let's check this guy. You see. It's already here. So the target is 20k. 20k is the target. And I wanna have it really relaxed and chill. Send me hearts, send me everything. Send me, send me gold also. Why not? Send me. Okay. <coughs> Let's check. Let's start by also getting some rags here for the day, for the night. Okay, here's the black ship. It would be cool. Where's the black ship gone? If the ship, the black ship would give the would give black uh, black wool, right? So some sort of different hue. Yeah, would be that some flavor. Animal taming, let's go. And hello, 99CH. You were here before. You see this? Uh, I've been suggested by Boomerang Jenkins to do this. I mean, like, if you know you're streaming and just just program them, just schedule them. Not program, program, yeah. Schedule them, and that's a good advice, I think. As people know what I'm streaming. <coughs> Even though I have a, a real good schedule, finally lately I got a real good schedule. But again, do have the icon there to click and say remind me later, still, still a good thing, it is still a good thing, I guess. Um, let's check if there's some some guy here. Yeah, regularity is the key. I. This is what I am being told on YouTube. On YouTube, basically, yeah. regularity. It, it is the key. <coughs> Even in publishing, I mean, just stick to one. It don't matter if it is like one video per day, one video per um, per month, one video per week, but just stick to it. To stick to it, okay? There's no need to rush like 10 videos in 10 days and then do nothing for two months. Just keep your schedule, focus on what you're doing, and things will what will be all right. Even yeah, with streaming, yeah. I mean, in general, I think that people know that on Wednesday or Saturday I'm here. Sure, people have better things to do than watching me. But again, being here, it, um, it brings consistency. That's not a bad thing, in my opinion. Yeah, <coughs> I agree. I agree. I mean, all the the long-term, the long-term um, objectives. 
Yeah, you gotta work for them, you gotta work steadily for them, hard for them. I... I couldn't agree more. These I have, ooh, nice. Okay. You. Yeah, let's start with some major regains here. Let's start with some major regains here. Because I wanna still raise majoring. Because <clears throat> higher, higher majoring means more reliability in casting demons. And, yeah, you know, casting demons. Jim's but Yeah, okay. And this is a very important, this is a very important guy, I mean. And they, 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 they even dedicated him a unit of measure. So yeah, yeah. When they dedicate you a unit of measure, I mean, you, you, you're a good scientist. Talk about Vault, talk about Bat. Yeah, you're a good scientist. Talk about Ampere, talk about, yeah. Coulomb. <laughs> yeah. Who else? There's the Diebot here. Okay. Let's just maybe go. Nuyam is the is a good city. This guy, ooh, yeah, I gotta love it. Why? There's no lampposts here. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, this is very cool. This is a good touch. This is not an NPC. Yeah. Okay, most NPCs are up here. We and. Oh, he's fatigued already, yeah. Don't tell me. Yeah, this didn't look like one. Well, so many here. So many random NPCs here. Okay, let's check here at the usual square. We found another place with a few NPCs, but I cannot remember the place. Maybe there was <coughs> a few at... Atrinsic, I believe, Magician. Yeah. Magician, not a good city for NPCs. Okay. Let's see. <coughs> if I do become a ghost today, I want to I show you one thing that I've learned. I should, but well, if somebody kills me, yeah, let's go to walk. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting to meditate here. Okay, it's been a hard day at work. Yeah, I forget stuff. <coughs> hey ho. There's the gain, 86. <laughs> that's a hot key. They told me, but that's a hot key, man. But I promise, next challenge, it will be with hotkeys. It will be, for sure, it will be no, it will be no razor, but it will be with hotkeys. I promise. Moon glow. Moon glow. You meditate. Om. Om. Oh, that, that's another. That's another scientist with the uh, unit of measure. Om. <coughs> Let's go. Resistance. Let's go. And stop with me, I don't like with too much. Yeah, see? Like this. I don't like with too much. Alright, go. Nice, we're almost at 40 med. It's good. Almost 40 med. Okay.
Nice. Almost at 40 men, and I, I believe that at 40 men we will have uh, like an increased mana region. And we, we will notice a difference, in my opinion. This is Scarra that I have a rune, so that's fine. And it is the second game. But we. I don't want to tell it too, too loud, but we are approaching 90, 90 Majory here. All done by hand. Manually. Who needs macros? When you have your mouse. Mm. Yeah, here we are too far away, I guess. To have any real chance of NPC. Okay, let's get back. Maybe we also might want to take a look at the bulletin board. Yeah, maybe this guy. New spawn. Yeah, I will take the. Wow. Game frenzy here. I, I don't know, we might even reach like 70 wrestle today. Well, because it is like, yeah. I'm very close to, to that. And also that will make a difference in escaping uh, snipers, basically. It can be a huge difference. Come on, you are at peace. There you come. Cannot focus, okay. Ah, would well, Sally retire, I guess. <laughs> Sally will retire, I guess. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, that's a good question. I, I believe that Sally will retire in her, her castle. And um, we, will, we will have a new challenge. A new ch I'm, st I'm already thinking about a new, what, what, what a new challenge could be. But still, we're still far from that point. I mean... I think that Sally will take us mm, three more months. Guard needed. Hiring an escort. Guard needed. Uh, um, yeah, okay. Uh, Valley West. Elton, Reeve. No, hiring a guard. Yeah. Elton, Reeve, Natasha, Fielding. Let's check. Elton. Fielding is here, okay. Uh, here. Oh, Elton and Fielding, there they are. Mm, okay, how do we do this? Like here. All oh, right. Elton. For sure, the challenge, I'm, I was saying that for sure the challenge will be without Razor, but I, I want to do something really different, maybe just. just just scrap and see for instance no what, what one of the things that I have in mind is for instance no spellbook. That can be a challenge. You wanna go to a dungeon? Do I have a room to a dungeon here? Um, do I have a room to a dungeon devotion? This is for the keep whites here and shouldn't be here. So no spell book. Well, it could be interesting, being an interesting challenge, or no killing, let's say no killing challenge, you're not allowed to kill, to kill things, be them animals, be them monster, be them players. Okay, that might be an interesting challenge. And we set the target maybe to tower did, no, no castle did, castle did is way too long maybe. But yeah, Tower did. Tower did is something solid, I guess. Where do we go now for a dungeon? There you go. Good luck. I, 
I don't know. You, I, I, I for sure will have a poll saying, "What do you think, guys, of a no spell book run? What do you think, guys, of full crafting run? What do you guys think of a no kill run?" Yeah, we can do something like that. Uh, Riva, Natasha, Nilan, Ludia. So hard to find them. Let's see. Let's play chess here. Eugene. This looks promising. Yeah, not really. <laughs> not very promising. Maybe they're all the way down here, Scott. What is this building? Union Court slot. Wow. That's not fair. Big tournaments here. Big tournaments being held here on Europa during Renaissance era. Drake tournaments. Be, I've been to many of them. Used to have all the trophies. Yeah, that was a very cool time. Very, very cool. Very, 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 very cool. So here we run out of NPCs, I guess. Uh, um, Melanie, Manfred, Manfred, yeah, Manfred. Fuck you, Manfred. Genie. Hmm. What is this? What the heck is this? I don't know many buildings. Uh, uh, some of the buildings here I have no idea. Alma, Alma Mater. Yeah, we're just running around doing nothing here. Yay. Hey, yeah, come on. Pretty empty here. Why do you want to go to a dungeon that I don't have a room with me? Really? Let's check this. All right, time to... Time to go somewhere else, okay. Yeah, okay, I will take you to a dungeon, okay? Just stop bothering me. Yeah, you want to go to a dungeon. Yeah, you go here. Shame air. You want to go to a dungeon. Go here. And good luck. Yeah, good luck. Woohoo. Two with one gate. Come on. Two birds with one stone. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And you? Dungeon too. No. <laughs> okay. Almost three. Almost three. And they all want to go to a dungeon for some reason. Yeah, okay. Go to a dungeon. I mean, just fucking go to a dungeon. Um, what was that? Death Star level 2 sounds sound like a good place to hang out. Alright. Let's assess the status of Rex. So I, I can't remember. I think we are low on pearls. Yeah, I. We are not low on pearls. About this. This we're good. We are low on mandrakes, yes, we are low on mandrakes, here. 
um, low one month rates. We are ginseng. Yeah, we're fine with healing regs. We are sort of fine. Yeah, we're fine with healing regs. Um, <coughs> Mandrakes, not many. Pearls, not many. Yeah, we can actually <coughs> buy some of them. Blood moss. What about blood moss? We need blood moss for demons. Yeah, it's fine. So we need pearls. We need mandrakes. Basically. All right. Check. Uh, somebody's buying mandrakes here. Hmm. All right. Server safe. <coughs> Let's try the other shop. Yeah, we still haven't made any sort of money today. I will manage. We will make them. No mandrakes. Shit. Someone is buying mandrakes. Bastards. Okay. No problem. No problem. <coughs> okay. Yeah, we've done 2k. So here we start with 42, now we have 44. Okay. Just to take note. We have a lot of mandrakes here that we don't need. Oh, we can't get rid of two of them, or a few of them here. Okay. Um, all right, let's drop this. Passage. Wow. No in lore challenge coming up next. <laughs> Where am I? No in lore challenge coming up next, guys. Yeah. I went through. No pot of wax. Boring. <clears throat> Let's check if there's somebody here. Tracking. Malcolm, Salicane. Yeah, no. No one here but in the rare. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Mm, so, yes, here. Good source of income here. My beloved shit. My beloved ship. My source of income here. Today in general chat there's there was a guy asking how to 60 taming nice giant serpents how to to run a ship and and honestly I didn't have many advice for him because I, I never run a ship to be honest but there's believe it or not there's a lot of people running ship pens really a lot of people running ship pens. Really, really a lot of people running ship pens. Okay, let's see. Uh, the first wrestle gain. How much do we have in wrestle? Because I cannot remember. Okay. 70 wrestle is doable. I'm telling you, 70 wrestle is doable. Definitely doable 70 wrestle tonight. It won't take long, won't take long. Uh, 
can be like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, maybe three cows, four cows. Anybody else watching, guys? It's all quiet tonight. <clears throat> yeah, it looks horrible against Outlands. But at least it's Ultima Online. I don't know why you Outland guys are trying to convince people. I mean, desperately con trying to convince people to play there. I mean, don't you have enough players there? So games have slowed down considerably here in Weston, but I'm still confident we can get to 17. Yeah, you see, you just, you just, just like in the old times, just like <clears throat> complain about games, and that is always working. If you complain about games, you're gonna gain. This is guaranteed. It used to work in the 90s, it works still here. And believe it or not, people still play original games like they even they even speedrun Super Mario from 1987, the original, or Super Mario Super Mario 3 from 1988, the original. It's, people still still play that. Still, still play that. So to each its own. I mean, this is the original Ultimate Online. Outline is something different. More modern, I agree. Something different. To each its own, I guess. It's not that I go to outline videos and try to convince people to play Ultima Online Second Age. I mean, that's a waste of time. cow and give me the last gain here yes a 68 there you go all you need this is all you need just ask for gains and you will be given uh, okay now Free ride, let's take a look. Oh, there's a white horse there. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. A white horse. Uh, I really couldn't stand that all star anymore. <laughs> Alright, here we got cotton to collect. Boy, I'm tempted to move around with arrows so that I have less mouse 
Yeah, this is actually working. Moving around with arrows, I mean, like... No, this is... This is solid. Too bad I don't... I only have four arrows, because I'm on a, I'm on a laptop, so I don't have new, a numeric pad. So I can only move like this, you see, ha 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 ha. Look I'm, how cool I am. <laughs> Next challenge, just move with arrows. That's a real solid challenge. Challenge. <laughs> mm. uh, you like the, the, the light driving me crazy? Yeah, I have no idea. I, I, I like Ultima Online. We all like Ultima Online. I guess if you're here, you like Ultima Online like we do. But we, we all have our preferences. I guess. It's, but aside preferences, this is no question that this is the you of back in the day. Outlands. I, I, I honestly have nothing against Outland. I think Outland is a very, 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 very well designed product. And I, I agree it has the UO spirit, but it's just too different for me. But honestly, okay, I, I I can never picture myself playing Outlands, to be fair, because I like the original. But that's me, I like the original. I don't like things that are uh, modded too much. So I cannot think of myself playing Outlands. But again, I wish what I can what what I what, what I can tell is uh, is that I wish Outlands developer were Aussie developers. I mean, I wish Aussie had such developers like Outlands. So yeah, that's a good, very solid, good product, but it's not for me. But that's just me. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, I guess. I sometimes think there were many private servers, so we can all, like, all the UO community was just not such spread out, but more concentrated on um, on fewer servers out there. Yeah, to to have more more pop. Yeah, this is something I I really wish, but it's never gonna happen. Well, what what am I looking for here? Possibly something. This is a room to Scarra, I have no idea why. Alright. I remind you, this guy is no tamer, but we can do magic, we can do magic, maybe, we can try do magic. Just bypassed my gate. Come on, this is something. This is this is very unfair. Just dodge the gate. <laughs> yeah. So many fails. <clears throat> okay, let's try. Let's try again. Okay, here. 
Come on, don't make me go crazy. Stop my night. Yeah, finally. It's not so easy. But yeah, that's a good a good advice. But the white worm opens the door, unfortunately. Wow! Already another respawn. That's crazy. Okay. Here I am basically trying to go with Fairy Tail. By the way, Fairy Tail, is this the first time that you catch my stream? I never see your names before. Your name before. I'm trying to go here with Recall Precast. Because people like to snipe me. So I try and be ready for them. Been sniped so many times in my stream. The hate is real. Oh, PK Blade Spirit. Summon Fire Elemental. Well, yeah, I have it already. Really? Yeah, these the elemental spell. I I I wanna. I, I need to make a video about that. I I really <clears throat> wanna make a video about that. And for some reason, there is absolutely no reason to summon elementals. Oh, yeah, that's good. I mean, we are trying to increase our presence. I was telling before with our with my <clears throat> fellow. Um, second agers, let's say you all second agers. We we never cared about Reddit until recently, and uh, yeah, caring about Reddit can increase the player base. I mean, it can it just basically can entice the players to to play, which is which is a good thing. I mean, if you can just entice a few players here, yeah, so you can you can't believe how many people. Have no idea that there's so that the other shards exist. So yeah, enticing them is never a bad idea in my opinion. So we are at 5k down here so far. So far so good. Okay. So yeah, we have increased our presence in Reddit. I don't want to be too too harsh on people like come play second age, come play second age, come play second age, come play second age, this is the best, it's just, but just let them know that second age is out there and what are the pros on second age, what are the cons of second age, what is the pop, what to expect, what are the guilds, and etc, etc, etc. Age is a good thing. And and this is also why I started my YouTube channel, basically. Started my YouTube channel basically to sponsor Second Age, to, 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 to show Second Age to people. Yeah, and in fact, it brought some results. Many people join Second Age due to my my channel, even if it's a big even if it's a big, even it's a small if it, even if it's a small channel, well I still have, I still have attracted a few people, but yeah, I'm nowhere near those guys on Outlands. I mean, those guys on Outlands like can appeal, are can appeal to many more people out there. 
you know, the Pawn Star guy has like nine, almost 10 K subs, so it's solid. That's really solid. But yeah, I started like one year ago, so I'm learning my way through this. And it's quite enjoyable, to be honest. Also, this streaming, this is very. This is one of the things that I like the most. Streaming this character, even if it's a sort of strange challenge where I cannot press hotkeys, where I cannot have razor. But still, very, very much enjoyable, to be honest. So it's something like a chill way to play you all together with other lover of the game. So let's see. After the initial, okay, there's the fire elemental. Okay, now we gotta have the fire early aggro us. Because white words don't aggro. White worms don't aggro, so you have to have the mob aggro the white worm. So you have the mob aggro me, drag it inside, and then let the mob aggro the white worm. That's the way you do it. Okay. And here in this era, what I what I did here with this white worm, I saw a guy with the white worm and said, Can I buy the white worm? This is this guy has no this girl, not guy. This girl has no taming, this girl has no animal lore, so she cannot control any any pet. However, in this era, you can be friended to pets. So these well either or no not yeah, okay, you can be friended to pets and you can command them as a friend if you if you are able to command them. But since I'm not able to command them, what I did here is I made a guy release this white worm so that I could tame it. So I could tame this white worm because in this era, like later eras, if you release something previously tamed, you can tame it even with zero taming. Okay? I tamed it with zero taming. I cannot command it, but I use enticement to make it move. <laughs> Like with some difficulties to make it move to where I want to want it to move. I can stable it because I am the owner, so I can stable it. So yeah, that, 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 that's how I'm farming here. It's a bit weird. I I am I, I, I'm telling you it's a bit weird, but, but it is working. Somehow it is somehow it is working. Alright. So where is that? Yeah, those those hearts. Shit. Yeah, okay. Alright. Can we become a lady with the uh, I think the Ifrit, you can you can you can get Lord Title with the Ifrit. Gets you straight to 10k fame, I think. I think you can get to 10k fame and karma with the E3. If I am if I'm not mistaken. Dream sickle. Yeah, we we'll, we will we will know soon, I hope. And too bad here that the fire rally spawn is really really slow. Here, the fire rally that spawns here. Here we are also very close to green acres. But unfortunately for us, there's no way to teleport into green acres. Absolutely no way. Absolutely no way. There's a hard stop. Okay, It's a very, very hard no on the teleport to green acres. And, uh, by a hard no, I mean... Um, even if you find targetable tiles with teleport, it says you cannot teleport to that area. So it's basically uh, as if when you try to teleport next to within like what is that five tiles five tiles range from a house basement. There's no way it tells the game tells you you cannot teleport to that area. 
So that's a very hard. No matter if you have line of sight, line of sight won't matter. It just won't let you. There's the fire elemental again. Good. My my dream, my secret UO dream is is making it to Green Acres. That's my UO dream. It's like. To me, I always make this reference, making it to Green Acre as a player, not as a GM, of course, is like breaking into heaven alive. This is what I used to think about Green Acres. This is like breaking into heaven alive. Yeah, it's Green Acres. I have been to Green Acres, I think, three or four times during Server Wars. Yeah, but being there during server wars, escorted by a GM, is not what I want. I wanna be there alone, <laughs> without without the GM guarding me. The problem with the Green Acres is that it's full of traps. It's really full of traps. Some, it's full of hidden traps there, and if you if you step on a hidden trap, you get teleported to jail. And if you get teleported to jail and GM is not around, in jail you can do nothing. You cannot cast spells, you cannot use skills. I've been to jail maybe once or twice, I've been to jail twice. I've been to jail twice, one for a good reason, another not for a good reason, for a mistake. Uh, but yeah, I found out that you cannot do nothing in jail. I mean, just let me use skills at least. Let me do stuff. I mean, yeah. Boring. GMs have no sense of humor. I, I never found a GM. I have never found a GM with sense of humor. So yeah, they... They are a bit harsh, unfortunately. Yeah, here there must be a way... There must be, I mean, for instance, at Fire Temple, at Fire Temple, you have um, targets, wow, that's a very good luck spy here, on Fire Temple you have targets, lava tiles, lava tiles you can target to teleport to, okay, but here tells location is blocked. I don't know why. I don't know what is the difference between lava tiles, lava tiles at um, higher temple and these lava tiles. I, I can't tell the difference. I know those lava tiles you can teleport to. So why can't I teleport here? And for instance, this tile. Why can't I teleport to that tile? Yeah, because Green Acres is really here. Really, really close here. Let's, the closest you can get, I think, is it's here. In this tower. Now you see there. This tower, but you don't have line of sight in this tower. You don't have line of sight. And even here, I mean, you don't have line of sight, unfortunately. Yeah, you see, target cannot be seen because there's no wall there. Yeah. It's really, really harsh. The best shot of making it Green Acres is the um, is from T two way, you know the north side of T two way where you have the ice part, ice bits of the T two way area. Again, you can have a little bit of line of sight there, but again, hard block, hard block on teleport is is wrecking you there. Unfortunately. That's a very good tanker, that white worm guy. 8k done. Let me refresh the paper, though. We're still illustrious. Okay. No lady. No lady, Sully. 125 items. Really? No, not 
not, 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 not this spell. Fuck her. The worm is ill, gotta cure it. I gotta cure the worm, otherwise, the poison is will, will slowly but surely munch it. The good part is here that I can <coughs> also can loot here. I can loot with the uh, recall precast here, which is very, very cool. How cool is that? Rich! You don't know if you could get back to USA due to the amount of players. Yeah, I agree. Um, UISA has been basically left on autopilot for quite a long time. But consider this Second Age on autopilot still survived many, many years. And this is an amazing result, in my opinion. But now, now, Rich, if you follow my channel, you know that we've passed from zero GMs, not, not zero GMs, which is not true, Anarcho. Um, was has always been here, but Anarcho is more of a hardware guy. So he makes the server run. He makes the he feeds the hamsters basically. He feeds the hamsters in the basement to to make the server run. And he takes care of the hardware, takes care of the uh, of the domain, takes care of the uh, all of those all that stuff, and maybe of some big big coding. Okay. But aside from Anarcho, we have had like three years without an active GM. But USA is still here. The players have gone nowhere. Okay, and the, and if the players went someplace, the players returned eventually. And now it's been six months, I believe, after summer. Yeah, so less than six months. Yeah, let's let's consider six months. So it's been six months that Boomland Jenkins has returned to, to Second Age and if you have been a player here somewhere between more than five years ago, ten years ago, you do know who Boomland Jenkins is. And that guy, the, that guy honestly, provides very, 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 very good and entertaining events. And with that guy, all, all, also, not only Boomland Jenkins joined the server, jo uh, rejoined Second Age uh, as a GM, but we also uh, as a senior GM, let's say. But also another guy applied for uh, for GM. So now we have two. We have one one, one administrator basically, which is a people, and we have two active GMs: one senior and one junior GM, let's say. And things are moving. I mean. Again, if you had followed my, if you have followed my channel, we have recently had the uh, the Tainted Brew quest, which was before Christmas. Then we had the Halloween event, which was very cool with the corn maze. Yeah, and uh, I forgot what else was it. What else it was? We had uh, the Cranky Christmas again, very cool event. We have various events that are basically GM made, no automatic, no automatic event like um, Potion Ward, um, the Secret Agent. So those are events run by Boomland Jenkins himself, which are very very cool. And recently, you know that USA has the, um, I said the end game reward is silver, and the silver reward has been there forever and ever without nobody touching them and recently the silver reward system has been updated but not only that there has also been 
I, I, you cannot even call it an update because there was never such a system. It was basically dealt, dealt between players and GMs. But now it is in place a system with which you can customize player run towns. So there's, also, there's actually rules on how to do that. So for instance, you want to add a fountain, fountain to your to your town. Well, that's a, that's part of the town of Don Silver system. You discuss it with the GM, discuss it with the community. You apply for the for the request, and if everything goes right, you pay your silver. You get your uh, you get the thing that you wanted, and you have to pay silver or or raw resources and supplies to maintain it. So that's the stick system. Very, very well designed. And it's live now. Also, there is in this new silver system another thing that is around is that now players can spawn their own events. You know that sometimes in the past, for instance, such a guild donated something to a GM say, look, I give you this. Can you spawn an invasion in that in that town or can you spawn an invasion in that dungeon? Now also this system is uh, regulated. So basically through silver system you purchase a deed for a town invasion you, or you purchase a deed for a dungeon invasion it costs x silver then it costs x silver more for additional days and you can choose your mob you can choose the theme you can choose the city so that's really really interesting so second age has changed a lot in these temporary things of course the core rule set is the same will always be the same that's guarantee of second age that's a trademark trademark of second age but i really do encourage you all to, to take a look at that I, I think I made a video a few months ago when it was announced that it was in sort of in sort of in development. Now it's live and I have to make a video about that. And I forgot to mention that you also can purchase NPCs. I mean you can purchase your own stable masters, it's gonna cost you a fortune. Like five castle deeds, 75 silver up up um, up upkeep every every three months and so but you can have your stable master you can have your barkeep you can have your healer this is very very cool i'm telling you okay uh, it's time to get the worm back i guess it's running the Y worm is running out of petrol here, so we might want to take it here. Uh, where is the rune here? So let's try and get it back. So many fizzles, come on. Don't fizzle now, it is crucial. Ah yeah, there's too too much spawn here. Hmm. Let's see if it can actually Ah yeah, I cannot do it through there. Yeah, we'll do it from here. Let's do it like this. Go inside. Oh, another refrit spawned there. I gotta heal the. I think I gotta heal the white one here. I don't wanna risk losing it. Throw the white one a couple of heals here. Alright. Really? 
Come on, enter. Yeah, now you go there. I fail every single time today. This cannot be true. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you, Mr. Wireworm. Thank you, Mr. Whiteworm. Love you. Yeah. Nightmare aside, my favorite pet is the Whiteworm. I really love Whiteworms way more than dragons. Even though they mask us, even though they can be tricky at times, but they're far superior than dragons, in my opinion. They're faster, they're stronger, they have better magical abilities. I mean, Eye worms can really wreck you. Okay, let's check the cash. 12k! 12k, oh boy. 12k done so far. So far, so good. Uh, I'm tempted. Yeah, no, I'm not tempted. Any uh, meditation? So where are my ship now here? The wool as we grow here. Yeah, here's a ship. Okay. There we go. Here another. Well, too bad I can just play this character like twice per week, but if you could play this character consistently every day, you, you, you end up here with like 1000 ship here. There we go. Oh, there was another ship here. Oh, there where it was. That's where it was. It was hiding up here in the woods. Okay. And I didn't know you needed to be a tamer to tame shit, basically. There is another one here that spawned. I really never knew. I thought you could tame shit like with zero taming. <laughs> I learned it with Sally. Believe it or not, I learned it with Sally. Fail, you see, even with 60 taming, I failed at taming it. Saw this guy. Who is this guy? Come on, don't go away. Yeah, here. Your pets reveal you. New guy. Let's see if we, this guy is a new guy. I don't think so, maybe he's been here before. No, we were off from answer, so nice. How are you doing so far? Also, are you using Discord? Yeah, because it's very important to use Discord, guys. Keep in touch with other players. You can use about the shard, trade channel, guild channel. Not bad. Yeah, yeah, type faster. Good. Um, 
I am streaming. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> can't believe. You can't believe how many new players join USA constantly. There's a, a constant flow of new players. You cannot imagine that. You cannot believe that. The problem is not many are here to stay. Normally they are here. They are here because of nostalgia. And this is the best server for nostalgia in my opinion. Because it is accurate. But these players tend to get bored after like one week, one month. So they leave. And we end up with uh, new players leaving and new new players joining. Yeah, it's very hard to find solid player base because of, of the new of the new players finding USA just a very very small percentage stay here for one year, two years, or forever. A really, really a small percentage stay here in that sense. Because the game is old, I, I, I understand that when the Outlands guy come here and, and tell us things, I mean, I, we, we, we all realize that the game is old and that there is no real end game. So after a while, okay, I've raised my character, okay, I got my house, got my pets, got my weapons, uh, I got my... okay, now, now what? Okay, now what? Okay, okay, let's do some team maps. Okay, let's fish some. Let's fish some message in the bottles. Let's let, let's try and find some rares. Yeah, yeah, and then. So yeah. But the and then is being part of the community. That's the big part. But yeah, it's I, I realize it's not very easy. It's not very easy. I realize. I, I can understand that. Okay, here we are fine with Rex for quite a bit. Uh, okay, here. 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 Where is that? I need 10 garlic, yeah, because I'm kind of low with garlic. 10 ginseng, because we are low. Like 19 of these. Yeah, and like 20 mandrakes, yeah, like. We're still low on mandrakes here yeah, if we buy them because we consume so many. Okay. Time to move to do something else. And breathing. Hmm. No, it's too many gates. Let's just maybe rest of a cow okay just rest of one last cow okay and we, we are fine hello dn yeah it's a bit i agree it's a bit like it's a bit harsh yeah i agree with that 
<laughs> yeah, I saw that. Hey, tell me, what server can I... What server do you recommend that is not Outland? Literally, the first reply is, <laughs> why don't you try Outlands? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I understand that. <laughs> and then somebody replies, yeah, but, but the original poster said, yeah, it's shards that are not Outlands. And the other guy says, yeah, but you should try out this, <laughs> nonetheless. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know why. I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, the, I, I just think that there's so many of them playing out there that even, even if they just say, okay, but it's only me, adver I only advertise that like once in in three months but there's so many players advertising it that eventually they they add up <laughs> I mean, there's too many ship here talk too much. No gains. <clears throat> no gains, come on. Come on, a provocation game. Boy, I, I can't believe how I'm raising provocation manually right here. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I believe yesterday. Yesterday I, I I decided to to change skills on one of my tailors, and I'm and and I'm adding provoking and music. So I okay I I GM music in a few hours. That's no problem. I went to an to an NPC to raise provocation and up until 23. So they train it very low, and then I started my provocation macro, and it takes forever. At that low level, it takes just forever. Hours and hours to get to 30, hours and hours to get to 40. <laughs> Boy, I don't know how I did it with Sally here. I started that I had zero. And now I have more than 50. I have 53 provocation. Yeah, I mean, small player base, I, I can understand is a bad thing don't get me wrong low pot is a bad thing i remember when we had like 20 20 on on second age and it was really like oh boy it's really empty it felt empty and it was empty so i can understand that but with servers like for instance second age with a very small map because don't I mean do you remember the map here? The map here is very small and if you have 100 player playing second age and here are players not many are AFK here on second age because once you raise your character there's nothing I mean you just log off okay you don't need to stay logged in to acquire rewards or, or do anything, okay? So those 100 players that you see are legit players that are online doing something. The, the world is so small that even 100 players are, are enough to make it feel alive. And on top of that, you have Discord server. And players here are very active, even it's 100 players online at, at the same time, but players are really, really active. So there's always something going on. Be it someone that want to make team maps, be it someone that want to make duels. There's, there's always something going on. The, the guy that wants to, to farm in a group. The guy that needs advice on how to train a character, on how to raise a skill. But I agree, I sometimes wish, like, for instance, 
that all these small servers that, that are all more or less similar, they just congregate in one bigger server. Yeah, and the worst part of that, you know what that is, I will play when there is more pop. I mean, if you don't log in, if you don't log in, there's never gonna be more pop. I mean, you, you are part of the community, it's not that the others have to do the job, and once the job is done, okay, well, now I log in. And can you just be part of it. And these are, these are, uh, yeah, things I don't agree with, yeah. And what can, what can you do? People are like that. It's not just one like that, it's, all, all of them are like that. Here another ship just respawned, boy. The respawn is real here. Come on, stop spawning and I wanna do I wanna go do something else. I believe that finally, after some after a period of very low pop, now pop is already is again on the rise due to various combination to, to various combination of things. YouTube, my channel, other channels. Um, presence on Reddit and the fact that Boomlin Jenkins returns, so again we have an active GN. So all this made that there is a population coming back. And I'm telling you, if Second Age hits 200 population, more will come back. It's sort of snowball effect. So you gotta be very careful with that, because snowball effect can be positive and negative. I mean, it's like a, an unstable mechanism, so the more people join, the more people will join, and the, the more people leave, the more people will leave. So population is, in general, it's stable, okay, but it can become unstable real, real quick. <clears throat> But yeah, I, I I don't like that that I don't like that thing. But I will join when there is more pop. You log in. If you log in, there's one more pop, or three more pop. <coughs> three more pop. Because you are, you have three accounts. Yeah, when you in 2008 there there was no competition basically, so everybody and their brother was here on second age because there was also no competition. There's so many more shards out there now that there's too much competition, I guess. And so we all spread out. Uh, here I think this room. Doesn't make any sense, okay? This. I wanna do this. Uh, where is that? Okay. Here is air elementals. Okay, and we put the room here. Oh boy, I'm sleepy. <laughs> there were more shots in 2008, really. 
I mean, but in 2008, there was no, there was no outlands. Okay? There was no renaissance. There was no um, lost lands. Was, what, was out there those servers like you all dreams, you are unchained, you are alive? I don't know. I'm not really much into free shards. Free shard. The only free shard I play is this one. Let's check if we have dragons here. We don't have dragons today here. You, we all, we always have dragons here. And today that I want dragons here, we don't have dragons here. What's going on? Boring, boring. Well, here are the dragons. Okay, here are the dragons. Ah, someone is looting them. <laughs> yeah, but how many... How many of them are so serious? These dragons have... These dragons are wild now? Hmm... Interesting... Interesting. Hmm. Okay, let's go here. Okay, here there's the single leech here. Okay. Yeah, we might do this. Okay, let's do this. Most were empty. Yeah, but most were just projects, I believe, like that the random guy that want to put up the his own private server but they were not really designed for for players to play i mean it was like i want to put up my own server and custom and things a little bit if people play fine if people don't play who cares no Strip my fucking strip my um... yeah. Come on, aggro it. Come on, dragons, don't sleep. But don't you think that the population is is spread out? Don't you think population is spread out? <laughs> Even today, today more than back in the day. I mean, this is this is a guy that wanted to kill me. How harsh. <laughs> Tempted to drop a count on him. I'm really tempted to drop a count on him. Yeah, but I won't do that. Because <coughs> I cannot be bothered. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The guy is mean. But my guild killed that guy so many times that he now hunts there. In a very safe place. But not very much gold per hour rate. <laughs> Let's see. So wind is out, out of question. So we gotta think of something else. We got to think about something else, I guess. Let me think, where can we go? I have an idea where we can go. 
Okay, let me just sell this wool. And I have an idea of where to go. So we started again at 42k, so let's check. I want to do 20k tonight. That's the target. Fifty-five, so that's 13. Okay. There's the guy. Fucking harsh. Very rude. Okay, let's block this room here. Let's check. <clears throat> let's see if there's any luck doing this. If it is feasible, or if it is not feasible, or if it is not, if it's not feasible, mm. let's check. Yeah, the problem is it's taking forever to cast these damn demons. It's really taking forever to cast the damn demons here. Yeah, there we go. We have lost a lot of karma. We can live with that. Do I have to reflect on? No. Okay. here and here okay. if you wonder if you wonder why I'm not using energy vortexes it's because people will suicide on them. I already have three counts on me of people suiciding on my on my energy vortexes, so I cannot use energy vortexes no more. That's a problem. Here's an air elemental. How about? coming to me This is one of the best place for quick, quick, quick cash. And when I didn't have in lore capabilities, and in lore capabilities for Dark Knight is you need you need 60 majory no matter what. Because if if you don't have 60 majory, you will you will see nothing. So I was using torches inside dungeons to, to, to have a look, to take a look at what I was doing. Yeah, it was harsh, hard times, I mean, I needed, I needed to, to have other players in lore me, otherwise I could see nothing. Those were harsh times. If you want to take a look at the very first streams that I was doing, I, I couldn't basically go to dungeons because of this problem. That I just couldn't in lore myself. 
No, I mean, I don't know if it is bugged or anything, but the point was this. I'm on Dark Knight mode, okay? And if you are on Dark Knight mode, no matter what you use, can be in a uh, nice side pod, it can be... Um, it can be nice side jewelry, no matter what, you would see nothing. Until until I had 60 major. When I had 60 major, I started to see things. To see things. Shit. Yeah. Get wrecked. Okay. Nice quick cash here. Let's refresh the nightmare here. This nightmare, I stole this nightmare. <laughs> Very proud of that, I stole the nightmare. Alright, how much cash did we do? 2k, I think, 2.4. Okay, we are at 16k, 4 more k, 4 more k. I want to get some NPCs now, because I need mage regains. So yeah, until I reached 60 major, nothing worked. I needed uh, to be in lord by players. Yeah. But here, actually, to... It's not a bad thing. Greater night side potion, yeah. <laughs> There's actually... I, I, if I remember correctly... In some Ultima games, there was a distinction between in lore spells. Now, one I, that I can think of is for sure uh, Ultima Under Underworld. In Ultima Underworld, if I recall correctly, you could have in lore, you had bad in lore, in lore, and vast in lore. There was this distinction. It was kind of useful, yeah. We could have had this life, for instance, yeah, I mean, that ra Razor took away all the fun anyway. But maybe uh, in lore, you could have an ally around here, maybe in that area, and vast in lore, all, all the visible here. Yeah. It's a nice to have, but yeah. So here, traveling companion Elsa. Okay, let's check Elsa Randolph Gildan. Yaga, long time no seen. Bjorn. So where are these guys? Maybe it was... I, I'm... Maybe it was bad in lore. But I do remember... I do remember, to be honest. Such a great game. Ultima Underworld was such a great game, to be honest. Really such a great game. Yeah, fight like this. Let's go back. Let's go to... Yeah, you... I had bravery, thank you. Let's go take a look at Britain. Take a look at here, take a look at the love here. Take a look at the love for my guild here. Take a look. This is my guild, BJV. Love spread. Love spread for my guild. Come on, Leon. The only Ultimas I haven't played 
through R1, 2 and 8. Wow. 1, 2, I haven't played either. <coughs> I didn't play 3. I didn't play 1, 2 and 3. I played 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 7 and a half, 8. And I didn't play 9, 10, wherever. And I played the Underworld 1, Underworld 2. And did you play the, um, the spin-offs of Ultima 6, the, the Martian Dreams and Savage Empire? Those also were cool games. They were cool games too. On the same engine. Same engine as Ultima 6. Eight, uh, yeah, it was bad. Eight, it was bad. I agree. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't understand why they they had to move from Britannia. One, two, and three. I mean, they were just they were just, I guess, too old. Too old. I mean, really at the at the beginning of everything. So, I mean, I, I forgive them. What's your favorite among them? Nice. Uh, Ultima Nine, I didn't even, I didn't even try to be honest. I, I, I didn't even try, man. <laughs> yeah, when Ultima Online came out, I mean, I was full on on Ultima Online. <laughs> New Year, yeah, let's go to New Year. Good idea. Seven. Many people say seven. Many people say seven. Which which one? The Serpent Isle or the um, the Black Gate? They're good. They're, they're good games even today by today's standards. If you make an Ultima Seven or um, with modern graphic, let's say modern graphic, I mean that would be a a huge title in my opinion, a huge game. My all-time favorite. Yeah, it's technically one game. Basically, yeah, one game. They use the same engine for, for two games. Mm. Still have the original boxes. I, I have vague memories of these games, to be honest. Because I haven't, I maybe have replayed them once. Um, the Black Gate, I have replayed it once. The Serpent's Isle, I'm, I'm not even sure how I have replayed Serpent's Isle, to be honest. So I'm really <laughs> not sure about those quality of life changes that you mean. Mint condition, really? No, mine is not mint. <laughs> By no means is in mint condition. That's it. Average condition, yeah. <laughs> but no way mint. Yeah, that's that's good. I mean, they worth money. And I, I, I my, one of my, fa I think my favorites were um, Ultima Six. Maybe it was really my favorite Ultima Six, and I replayed Ultima Six at least three times. And Ultima Five, Ultima Five is huge. What event gates death match not for Sally. Um. I mean, Ultima 6 and Ultima 5 were awesome, in my opinion. Ultima 6, the storyline of Ultima 6, maybe it is the best of them all, with the gargoyles, that it, it, you initially see the gargoyles as evil, and then eventually you get to know them. 
and you understand that they are not evil by no by no means they are evil and that is a is a species in danger because the world is their world is collapsing and they need to be saved and great story to be honest great great story to be honest Basically, I learned English with the Ultima, Ultima games. I remember, I remember, uh, Ultima Six is from 1990. I'm telling you the story. Um, I, I, I'm from Italy, so there was no Ultima Six in Italy until uh, maybe a year after it came out. But my dad was working for IBM. And IBM, I don't, have to, I don't have to tell you what IBM is, okay? He had American colleagues that already had these Ultima 6. And they uploaded it in the, in the company servers in the US. So my dad from, from, from Italy managed to, in the 1990, download them from the US servers of the company and copy them on the floppy disks. And and came home so that, that this did there's this game that my american colleagues tell me is a good game so let's try it out so that was really really way before the internet it was the intranet intranet of the company it was the intranet of the company my goodness so such good timings such good times sorry you learn how to program on Fruisha? Yeah, okay. I learned how to program using Easy UO. <laughs> yeah. It's not programming language, of course. It is. It is something more relaxed. But the general idea of the for loops, the if, uh, uh, the case, and everything, everything with that. Yeah. So I started playing Ultima Six. Uh, we had one PC at home, and um, an IBM PC that the company basically almost uh, not gave for free to my dad, but yeah, very huge discount. And we played Ultima 6 together. We used to have the English dictionary. Okay, my dad knew English, of course. I, I was I, I I was nine back then, so I, I didn't know much about English. <laughs> didn't know much of English, and I actually learned English that way. And ever since at school, I always had so good. Um, I mean, I, I knew English so well. I didn't. I never had to study it. Yeah, yeah, it was very good, very good. I really, I really learned English that way. And it was not even English. It was like, um, all uh, uh, not ancient. I, I wouldn't, rec I wouldn't say ancient, but yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, not modern English, like English of the uh, 16th century, let's say. Ultima 4 is the first game, yeah, Commodore 64. Well, I, I didn't even know that it was running on Commodore 64. I, I played it on, on the PC, but not when it came out. I played it, in, I don't know, maybe in, in 2000 and, and something. And Ultima 4, again, was a, was a very, very good game. A great story. Where is this guy going to? Yeah, pressing hot keys like this. <laughs> Moonglow, yeah, sorry, I forgot. Moonglow, let it be then. <clears throat> right, any, any, anybody, any, well, Hawthorpe here. Why do you guys always want to go to a dungeon? Can we take the... Oh yeah, here I have a dungeon, Air Elemental. I forgot the room with me. Almost 40 mad. Almost 40 mad. Let's fucking go. 
Let's fucking go. Just press random hotkeys. Yeah, we'll take it. Boy, New York is a real good city for these NPCs. Magician. Boy, don't lag. Can I focus? Yeah, I'm run out of. I ran out of mana here. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Yeah. The first, the first um, console I had, get okay, and my dad is a gamer, so he brought home this console. It was the how was, was that called? The Intellivision. You know about that. And on on the Intellivision, there was Pitfall. And there was one of my favorite game of all times. That is, oh, what's that called? The one with the min Minotaur, um, Quest of Tarmin. You know where you would go in that in that labyrinth where you where you have treasure, you have swords, you have uh, magical jewelry, and you, you you gotta find the Minotaur and slay it. Oh, that was awesome game. That was an awesome game. I spent so many time, and it was basically D and D based. You you had this random dungeon generator. Yeah, it was amazing. It was really amazing. But there was other games in this. What was that? It was the Melting Castle. I believe. Um, yeah, some other games that I cannot even remember. I mean, I remember the game. I remember the gameplay. I can't remember the title. Another, another very cool game was Qbert. Do you remember that Qbert? That was a very cool game. I was like three or four years old. You could play them as a four-year-old kid. Come on, can you make it through the other gate? Come, 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 come. Fuck's sake. Ah, a slow bean. A slow fucker. <laughs> yeah. Now, do you remember? Now, I, I'm gonna describe it because I don't know the name. I, I remember there was this game, okay, where you had um, a map, maybe you had a map with squares that you could move. Okay, and those squares that you could move would form a road and you had one character and you had to either escape or 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 grab the thief. I don't know. You you would have to I mean, you had these characters, one one good guy and one bad guy running around uh, this map with the roads. And you had to move the tiles, okay? You had to move the tiles to make them to make them meet or uh, or make one guy escape. I cannot remember. And the map would become bigger and bigger, and you had things to collect, uh, and you had more enemies. You know what I mean? Does it make any sense to you? Here. 
2.6 by gating. Wow, 60k. Nice. It was not jewel chase. No. Now, there was always one square empty. Okay, let's say the map is nine, but it is three tiles by three tiles. You don't have nine tiles, okay? You only have eight, so you can always move one. Okay, you swap them, move them around to 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 make roads. It's from Intellivision. I mean, early eighties, early eighties. That's what we're talking. So, yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> very, very old. Yeah, I really have no idea of the name uh, because also, also remember that I was like four, five, six, or seven years old when they came when I was playing them. So I, I mean, okay, apart of maybe Qbert aside, I would say okay, let me play that game, let me play that other game, but <laughs> they didn't really have names. In my mind, they didn't really have names, if you know what I mean. But there's there's videos on YouTube showing like retro games from the Intellivision. And I actually managed to find some of them there. One of them was Icy Castle, maybe the one that was with, where the castle was melting down. Maybe it was called Icy Castle. I think it was called Icy Castle that one. Then you had one like Space Invaders. Where you have aliens coming from the top and you, with your ship, you would have to shoot at them. <laughs> That's very super duper classic. There's a very old time classic. Invaders, alien invasion, I don't know. Let's collect this. Yeah, I need to make take a note and actually and actually <laughs> and actually show you. <laughs> but it was really really cool game. Very well designed. I mean, because it was a strategy game that you need to. It was really difficult. It was really difficult for a kid. It was a game of logic. So, who is selling? Who is buying here? Okay. There's a lot of wool here. Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Okay, let's do this. And we reach the bank again. Because it's 1 a.m. here. 1 a.m. during the week can be tricky. More than can be, it is, it is tricky. It 
fucking is tricky 1am you're in, in on, on a Wednesday night you still have Thursday and Friday yeah but nothing beats ultima online right yeah 20k so boy we are less than we are less less than 300 K away from castle lead we are getting there at this pace 15 more streams and we are we, uh, we, and we make it we can make it with 15 more streams 15 more streams means like eight more weeks which means two more months and Sally may be over right guys thanks everybody thanks the head for the for the chat I, mean, I could I I could talk about games from the past forever I could literally talk about games from the past forever but yeah good times good times luckily USA is still here and you, at least you can relive Super Mario on your on your Nintendo you can relive maybe on some emulators or also the television games but and you can stay here and leave Ultima Online Second Age forever on these shows and I will talk about what's going on on Second Age and see you soon on Saturday stay safe wherever you are and long live Ultima Online bye everybody, thanks for watching bye 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 let's terminate here bye, take care, love you